Hey everybody, Jake here, and today I just want to give a quick update on my current EDC, what I've been carrying over the past couple of months, and kind of what I'm uh, currently carrying specifically for review. Um, before I get into that though, I do want to mention there's a few different ways that I've become a lot more easily contactable. Um, you can still you know, speak to me in YouTube comments, uh, but as well I've joined a couple of discords that I would like to uh, talk about here really quickly. Um, one of them is called Pen Club. Um, I'll post an invite link down below. Any of you can come and join. Uh, talk about fountain pens, ball points, rollerballs, whatever you want to do. Um, there's a section there for other gear, but it's a primarily pen-focused channel. Um, pens, inks, paper, whatever you guys want to talk about. Um, I'm active in there. I'm a moderator. Um, and I would love to have every single one of you show up in there just to, just to chat about stuff. Um, I'm also part of the uh, subreddit Knife Club Discord. So if you want to talk about knives, if those are more your thing, um, come check us out there. A lot bigger, a lot more people are active there. Um, so it might be a little daunting to get into at first, but it's it's not too bad. Um, love to see you guys over there as well. And uh, last thing, I'm actually on a uh, podcast, which I will also leave linked below. Um, the Knife Club Discord podcast It's called Behind the Edge. Um, where we mostly talk about knives, knife news, stuff like that. Um, it's it's a couple of us from the discords, uh, you know, some collectors, and one of the makers that are on there. Um, but yeah, I'd love to see all you guys at any of those. If you want to listen to the podcast, come join the discord. You can literally talk to me there. I'm on there every single day. i uh, love to see from you guys. All right, let's go ahead and get into uh, the EDC that I've been carrying. So first up, um, one of my biggest changes, I normally stick to very small wallets, um, but this was a recent gift from a friend. This is an Ashland leather um, wallet. It's a teal outer and a black inner, and it's a bifold. It's a lot bigger than a lot of the wallets that I've been carrying, but I've got to say the color just <laughs> the color just really, really does it for me. It's awesome. It started to patina really, really well. And I'm, I'm very, very impressed with this wallet. It's it's probably going to be the one that I stick with mainly. Um, unless I'm reviewing something, this is going to be what I'm using. It's it's phenomenal. Next up, onto the pens. So, as usual, I've been carrying the Kaveca Lilliput. This is, in my opinion, probably one of the perfect uh, EDC fountain pens. It's really, really good. It posts to a very usable length, and it disappears in your pocket. Uh, this one has seen a lot of abuse. It has been very, very beaten up, and it's still going which is impressive actually. Next up, this is the Big Idea Design uh, Thai Ultra Pen. So it's a fountain pen. Um, it comes with a titanium and a steel nib, but it also comes with a rollerball insert that fits any refill that I've tried. Um, so all that's in the box. You can literally use this as a rollerball pen if you want to, if you're gonna you know, EDC it and you wanna take it home and write as a fountain pen. Um, so it's it's very, very versatile. It's, it's very, very well made, and there is a review of this coming, but so far I've been very, very impressed. There are a few things I have nitpicks on, um, but carrying this has just made me like it more and more and more. Next up, the knives. Um, so here's two that I've got in recently that I've been carrying. Um, this is the Luca uh, V2 by Sheepers. It is actually aluminum with wood. It's really, really freaking pretty. I really, really love this thing. Um, I've been carrying a lot of larger knives. They're just better for my hand ergonomically, and uh, this is one of them. This is kind of part of that that experimentation to see, you know, if that's a route I want to go. Because normally I'm picking medium to smaller knives, but this one actually fits my hand, unlike a lot of other knives. Um, so that's one I've been I've been carrying a little bit. I literally just got it in, um, but I'm really really enjoying that one so far. Next one up is the Olamic Busker. Um, so these made the rounds a while back. I didn't get one. Um, when they first came out, I, I kind of just put it off for a long time. Um, this is a trade. Um, I traded the Medford Dress Marauder for this. Uh, I'm still kind of on the fence about that, but I, you know, I need to check out some more gear. <laughs> so this is the result of that trade. Um, so far, I'm really, really impressed with it, actually. Um, I would really like a larger version, aka the Whippersnapper, um, because it's just a little tiny uh, for my hands here. But it's very, very well made. It's a little thick behind the edge, to be honest. Uh, kind of chunky blade stock with not very tall grind. But the fit and finish is, is really good on it. The detent is awesome. We know whether you're thumb, you know, front flicking it or middle finger flicking it. Um, you can slow roll it with your thumb. There's a ton of different ways to open this. Um, and the knife is just 
really, really well made. I, I like it a lot. Um, fit finish wise, it's it's impressive. Getting a little crowded here. Next up, we have uh, the watches. I'm actually going to move these over just a little bit, kind of give them their own space. Uh, next up, we have the watches that I've been carrying. So this is one that I've been carrying for review as well. I just got this in. This is the uh, LoomTech. I could not tell you. It is a LoomTech. I think it's a bullhead. Named so because of the uh, the pushers up here. But it's really cool. You'll see it's actually a black dial, uh, black band, and black case. But the AR coating is like a blue-purple. It's really, really cool. I don't normally carry uh, quartz analog watches a lot. But this one's not bad. It's kind of growing on me. And the next up, um, the main one I've been carrying for review, the review that's coming the soonest, this is the Seiko Samurai Save the Ocean Great White Edition. I'm really impressed with, with this, like, a lot. Um, the bracelet isn't great, but everything else is really, really good. Uh, the bezel's really good. The loom is astounding. Like, this is hands down the best loom I've seen on any watch I've, I've ever seen in real life. It's, it's wow, you know? Even uh, much, much more expensive watches than this, uh, some of their loom just doesn't even come close. That's that's probably the biggest takeaway from that. If if you actually use your watches at night, a Seiko is going to do wonders for you. So yeah, this is the stuff that I've been carrying recently. Um, it's it's some of it stays the same, mainly the Lilliput, but a lot of it's changing and rotating all the time. Um, but this is probably going to be my setup for the next month or so, just to kind of give all these things the rundown. This one may not be quite a month. This review is probably going to be coming in a week or two. So keep your eyes out for that. I'm really, really excited about that piece, actually. Um, but yeah, that's going to be about it for today, guys. Uh, don't forget, I'll leave the links down to the Discords and that podcast down in the description if you want to hear me talk or actually, you know, come and talk to me. Um, I'd love to see all you guys on there. But yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, let me know what you've been EDCing uh, recently. I would, I would love to hear from you guys. Thanks, guys. Bye.